What is up YouTube? I know it's been a long time since I updated any videos. So today, I'm actually here out with my best friend, Shahir. Uh, we're gonna call him Kazi, cause that's his last name. We're gonna go by Kazi with him. Just actually moved down from Chicago. Return to Texas. To return to Texas, yeah. So Shahir's gonna talk a little bit about his background in the Honda game and stuff like that, but we're on our way to one of our homeboys, uh, his name's Busy. What's up YouTube? Kazi. Um, obviously Ray mentioned that uh, our boy Busy. Shout out to Busy. Thanks so much, by the way, for all your help, man. He's kind of our Honda guy, guru. Uh, is transitioning everything from uh, my old EF that I had for a couple of years over to an EG that I just bought um, in Chicago. Uh, you know, the goal is to get the EG kind of dailyable and kind of drive that, keep the miles off the M3, um, and uh, just kind of have some fun with a reliable K car yep. and also yep. hit the track with it. So, yeah, um, definitely want to hit the track. Definitely. That's it's the goal. Always been the goal, um, and this is definitely the car to do it in. Um, okay, so. Let's talk more about the EF. Uh, how did we get it? What color was it? What year was it? EF, um, we picked up, uh, we picked that up probably six years ago. Yeah, yeah. Six years ago. Um, it's a 1990 uh, HF EF. Um, so, you know, the lightest, lightest one that they made, didn't have AC, nothing. Um, we picked it up, it was basically a shell, yeah. had two mismatched seats, no interiors, completely gutted. Yeah. It was red, it was uh, it had swap, it had a D16 Y8 swap in it. Yeah. It was a fun car, but yeah. it definitely had a ton of electrical gremlins. Um, even after, so I, we K-swapped that. Yeah. Um, Made it legit. Yeah, it was pretty cool. <laughs> we, uh, you know, it was fun. I probably put like maybe a hundred miles on the car. Um, you know, after the K-Series got put in, but um, it, it got flooded. Yeah, yeah, we got hit with Harvey. Yeah. yeah. Well, it was actually before Harvey. It was, oh, yeah, it, it was. It was huh? a few years ago, right? Probably two years ago at this point. Yeah. It got flooded, we had a bad storm, I don't remember what it was called. We had a bad storm, it got flooded, and it just ruined the electrical components in the car, yeah. the harness and all that stuff. Um, just started to, to rust, I guess, yeah. maybe the connectors, and it just, it never rode or drove properly after that. Yeah. So. Um, you know, I, I've been thinking about fixing it. I kind of just put it in the garage and didn't yeah. really mess with it for a whole year. Yeah, we um, were both pretty busy to yeah. like work on it and stuff like that. So we never got around to it. Yeah, we never got around to it. But, um, so then I found this EG, you know, I was looking for a shell to put everything in. And it just so happened to be that I came across one that was really clean. Yeah, um, the body was super, the body is super clean. Body's super clean, yeah. engine bay is really nice. Yeah. Um, the car hasn't really been abused too much. I think it, it got swapped once and had a, a B16 in it yeah. um, before I bought it. But you know, pretty much everything from my car we can transfer over. A lot of the suspension parts, obviously the motor and transmission. I got a new conversion harness, the ECU all works. So basically, this is like the budget build for me um, just because Perfect I've got everything that I need. Yeah. So I don't want to buy it. The, the goal of this is just to get the car running and enjoy it a little bit yeah. before we start hitting the track, yeah. before we start making you know major modifications to it yeah. and stuff like that. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, I'm sure you're going to see a lot more of it on race. Oh yeah, for sure. So, we're gonna we're gonna be recording every stage of it. You know, getting the car running and then you know track prep too. You know, like different stuff that we have because there's a bunch of. Uh, bunch of parts that we never got to install that we'll install now and then we'll have content on that as well yeah. and then you know showing our prep <clears throat> to get onto the track you know there's a bunch of tracks that we want to go to uh, especially like uh, locally what MSR yep. uh, and then Dallas Texas World Speedway yeah Dallas uh, and main goal for me that I've always wanted to go to ever since it opened yeah. Coda in Austin oh yeah yes Coda. yeah so that'll be fun yeah there was a video that I was pretty obsessed with when we first got into Hondas. Uh, it was this group called FF Squad, so shout out to them for sure. Oh, yeah. uh, but they had like a bunch of EGs and Integras and K-Swaps. And, um, but yeah, uh, FF Squad uh, in Cali, there's this track, I think it's called Button Willow. Uh oh, VTech and the Beaver. VTech. Let's see, this is Shears. This is Kazi's racing phase. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's that Houston, Texas merge, yeah, man. Yeah. You gotta be ready. Yeah, gotta be ready. All times. 
Uh, don't care if you're visiting. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah, they were really into doing swaps and then uh, hitting the track, doing a lot of track prep. So it's a lot of inspiration from them too. So I really definitely want to hit that track as well. But in Willow. So we're on our way to Busy's right now. And catch you when you see we'll really. catch you there. Deuce! Yeah. <laughs>
Alright guys, so we had a pretty long day um, in efforts to meet up our friend Busy. We uh, went to a bu bunch of... Uh, no. <laughs> we, went, we went to a bunch of um, auto parts stores to get transmission fluid for the EG. Got that, met up with Busy, put that in, uh, got the car started, as you guys can see in the clips. And then there's that... Uh, the, the clip of the EF that, that used to be Shahir's uh, that we transferred everything over or Busy helped us transfer everything over uh, pretty excited uh, just a few things that we have uh, that we need to switch over from the EF um, but yeah yeah I mean that's pretty much it like yeah we just gotta do the gotta get the exhaust all tidied up uh, speed sensor, coolant temp sensor, uh, some tow arms because the, the guy that I bought the car from cut some tow arms, uh, which kind of sucks, but you know, we're trying to figure out a workaround for that. So just gonna, a little upgrade. Yeah, just going to yeah. fix that up. Um, not a whole lot left, really. I mean, yeah. everything else. Uh, all the lights work, car starts. Um, which is awesome. Car starts, car actually drives. Yeah, yeah actually, drives, yep. Yeah, we put it into oh, gear. Brakes, it's gonna bleed the brakes, put yeah. the e-brake cables on. Yeah. Um, and the car can come home. So, yeah. super fast. Yeah, super Once fast again, process. shout out to Busy, thanks. Yeah, Busy works. I, I had a clip of, uh, I had recorded a clip of the CRX, but unfortunately, it didn't record apparently, or I, I never recorded. Uh, <laughs> but, no worries, we're gonna see Busy soon. I'm gonna have a clip of that. Uh, but yeah, shout out to Busy Works for helping us out uh, with Shears or with Kazi's EG, the egg yolk, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> License plate coming out soon. <laughs> but um, that's so funny. There's, <laughs> it says Kazi right there as, <laughs> as we're passing by. That's funny. Um, but yeah, yeah, we're just gonna close out this video for today. Uh, hope you guys like the content. If you like what you see, Please do like, share, and subscribe, and then there's going to be more coming out. So, peace out. Yeah.